Yes, my name is Tina Ortega. I try to think, okay, how am I going to say this and not sound crazy? We were showing llamas to our residents who have gotten loose, and we've been out here for an hour trying to capture them. We're wondering if we can get some help. Okay. And so the day the llamas came here, were you were you eager to see them? Eat them? To see, <laughs> to see them. <laughs> oh, see yeah. Them? I thought they said eat them. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't know they were coming, and I just walked down the hall and into the lobby, and here I see these two llamas. And I asked the lady, I said, do they spit? And she says, just at each other. I said, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't even like to pet dogs and cats, but, but that llama neck felt great. I didn't, <laughs> didn't object to it at all. Well, we were more excited and about it than the llamas. They were calm, <laughs> we, were, we were not. They were regal. Mm -hmm. That's the word. Um, big event was when they were trying to get them back in the truck and uh, they got away. Excuse the expression, but all hell broke loose. <laughs> I mean, they just ran. Uh, oh, it was right here. Yeah, we were sitting here and the truck was out there. Isn't that, isn't that right? <laughs> Next thing I remember, I. Or my stepson called from Minneapolis. He said, Gordy, you got your TV on? It was on national news in Minnesota. But they finally found a, a cowboy that roped him. Is how they finally got him. He lassoed them. When I woke up the next morning, I turned Fox News on. In two hours, they had already shown it twice. You know, after all at this age, it's something to see something New for the first time, <laughs> I've seen it all. <laughs>